Hey guys, what's up? So once again, mp4podcast.com. And I came across something, I swear to God, it's going to change the world of technology for photography and cinema photography. It's probably the most amazing camera since going from black and white to color. It's unbelievably amazing. You're able to take a picture and then you can focus on the picture after you take the picture. It's a new way in how it captures data. Now this is the exact same photograph. Now as you can see right here the uh, the front cat is out of focus and the back cat is in focus and same photograph. Now this isn't like you know taking an airbrush and you know just airbrushing the pot that you want out of focus. You know this there are iPhone applications that do that they'll they blur where everything's in focus and you just blur the part you don't want. This is completely different type of technology. And um it's really weird and also it's it, it's the best camera now for low light. I mean it literally blows away anything that's put out by Nikon, Canon, um you know those are probably the two top dogs on DSLRs for low light. Nikon's probably the best. Canon comes in second. Uh, Panasonic's uh, slightly behind Canon, um, but you know here, you know, there's some information on the website. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to Philip Bloom's article, and he, even he says he's not even quite sure how it's working. Some university uh, made it and um, made this camera, and uh, you know, let me see right here. So here's another picture where uh, they change it. it. Somehow they do it with the data, and then you can pick the depth of the field within the distance. I'm not really sure how it works. It's, you know, probably some other people who are smarter than me that can, you know, understand it. So let me see if a uh, light field camera, uh, science behind the technology. There was something else I wanted to hear. This is how it works. It's collecting light from all depth of field and angles, and it's, it just captures so much data that's in the digital file that you can manipulate it however you want. I guess that's how it works. Hey, I don't know. You know, I'm not a you know I'm not a real smart you know guy here, but hey, I know it's a pre pretty good thing. I know you should read the article. So how about you go over there and read the article? Links in the description box. Capiche? Okay, guys. Once again, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. You guys take care. Later, guys. Bye.